Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to take a look at I Abyssal. Uh, and it's by uh, a Thomas Synth. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of like uh, there's a version on a desktop. I think, I think. Anyway, it's very cool. It uses the front camera as well as part of its control. Uh, so it creates like drone strange uh, special effects and stuff. Uh, it runs in audio bus as well and us also into app audio as you can see. The only reason I've showed you this is because just to show you that it does work in there. So yeah, it, it will make noise as soon as it sings. So at the moment I have the mixer volume turned down but I'm going to turn it up now and show you a couple of the cool things you can do. It's, it's very nice. It, it's kind of instruments I really like. So we can hear it bubbling away there. So if we increase our depth here. So the thing is here at the top here, uh, it, this is where you can set how the camera works. So if you're in a darker environment, you can inverse it. Or if you're in a normal environment, you have it on standard. And this frequency we cut off and peak here is what the camera will control. So at the moment we've got it on peak. So if I move my, uh, if I start to cover the camera, you will see the peak control work. Cut off. If I make the actual room lighter by just opening the curtain just a little bit, so you can do you can do some very 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 cool stuff. just turn volume down again so it also has a delay here which is obviously switched on uh, that's the only effect it has at the moment I, I don't know if they'll uh, add any more or do anything like that but uh, yeah that's what it has at the moment uh, this uh, this nice delay effect here okay so let's have a look at a few of the other presets <laughs> controlling frequency here and it did seem to also react to the room so if I was to like open the curtain a little bit more here and we'll tap this little uh, thing here and we'll set standard it will read the it, it look it almost like it reads the room before you start to play with it. And if I close the uh, curtain down a bit, even more. Okay, using the camera on the iPad to control, or iPhone to control settings is nothing new. But I do think this is particularly nice. I mean, I like droney things anyway. So, I mean, even without the light sensor, I would have found this interesting anyway. Do you know what I mean? So, the fact that you can do weird stuff with the actual uh, 
the camera is cool as well and once you find the sound you can also save it in settings settings there's nothing spectacular in settings there there is a manual which is pretty good uh, it goes into pretty pretty good detail um here so you can you know there's all sorts of cool stuff it explains how the whole thing works um so they you know it's it's detailed it's detailed let's go back to there a sec and then obviously you can have background audio and you can rate it um let's see come on get out of that now and then you have your presets and you can save new presets as well i particularly like the theremin if i can find it again i may have uh gone past it somewhere but it's, it's i really do like that but i mean a lot to be honest with you a lot of the sounds are very 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 cool but it can't be that far bear with me guys <laughs> come on ah there it is photo because it's photo theremin so have I selected it? Yes, I have. Send volume up. Now let me. I'm going to reset this with the curtain open a bit. That is fab. So there you go guys a quick look at i abyssal um i'll put links in the description below so you can go and check it out on the app store and stuff and uh, yeah thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel and uh yes uh, consider becoming a patreon too which is very cool and helps support uh me job basically uh okay thank you very much guys and thanks for watching and i will see you later